Welcome to the Tool Review Channel. Today we are taking a look at the Klein Tools K1412 Dual NM Cable Stripper and Cutter. Now this tool is mainly used for stripping Romax wire. So this is mainly going to strip your Romax 12-2 uh, wire and your 14-2 wire with ground. Uh, and it does also feature a couple of other uh, size holes to strip some wire after it's been cut or if you need to strip uh, that gauge of wire as well. So starting off with the tool here, you can see you have the nice yellow uh, handles on here and it's the double dipped handle. So you have a white handle and a yellow handle, which is nice. And then you got Klein tools stamped on the one side of the handle right there. You have the made in the USA stamped there as well. And then you also have your K1412 model number right there as well. And then coming to the back side of the pliers, you can see warning they're not um, and they're not, these aren't insulated, so they're not going to protect you from an electrical shock. So don't go using these on something that's live or around something that is live. Uh, cause you might accidentally cut a live wire and destroy the tool and or hurt yourself. Uh, I believe the G07 is the manufacturer date of the tool. You got the USA st stamped on the tool right there and then Klein Tools logo right there. And then you got your little warning up here. I always wear eye protection. Uh, and then coming up to here, you have your 632 and your 832 screw holes. So if you have a 632 and an 832 screw you'd like to cut, uh, you put you would thread it in right there and cut the screw down to the size length you need. And then coming up to here, you can see you have your AWG solid and AWG stranded uh, holes in the pliers. That is for making loops with the wire. And then you can see right here your cutting edge for cutting any wire after you've cut it. And, or if you need to cut a wire that's... Uh, been previously bent and stripped and you just want to start with a fresh new piece got a cutter right there you have your 14 and your 12 gauge uh, solid uh, wire holes uh, right here and then on the other side the tool will strip 14 and 16 gauge stranded wire and then coming to the top of the tool you can see you have the 12-2 and the 14-2 strippers uh, for Rolex wire and then you have a little pair of pliers up top if you so desire to want to use them and then coming down to here you have your spring uh, right here and then you have your locking mechanism right there as well and then for some reason if um, the etching of the numbers uh, comes off of the tool you can always turn the tool to the back side and you can see it is stamped into the back of the tool uh, just in case you forget where your wire goes and then flipping the tool back over this is what it uh, looks like. Um, this is, you know, how it feels in your hand. Now, the one thing I dislike about this tool is this lock. I, it seems like every time, you know, you go to cut something or you go to strip a wire, this lock somehow always engages. Uh, so it would be nice. This tool has been out for quite some time. It would be nice to see Klein revise the lock on the tool. So it's kind of out of the way and doesn't um, accidentally lock when you're trying to strip some wire. So now we're going to zoom out here and we're going to get to stripping some wire. So we're going to start off with some 14-2 uh, with ground. Uh, this is 14-2 Romex, so you're going to put it at the top of the hole. And what I found works best is you press down, you cut the insulation, and then you take a little bit of pressure off, and you pop off the insulation right there, as you see, very effortlessly. And then you just got to rip this little insulation part right there. And then you can bend your wires out uh, like this, and then rip the insulation off of the ground. And if we can get the insulation to rip here... So we'll rip that off and then we'll use the 14 gauge solid uh, hole and we'll strip this wire. And as you can see, it strips the wire fairly good. You just gotta cut the insulation off and then release a little bit of pressure and it has no problem cutting the wire as you can see. I'm gonna lock the tool here and then we're gonna bend some of the bend some 14 gauge wire. Uh, so as you can see, probably should have stripped it a little bit more but it does do a good job bending the wire. Uh, as you can see, so if you needed to loop it around like an outlet or a screw or a grounding screw or whatever, you would be able to do that. You just got to strip the correct amount of length of wire. Uh, so now that we're done with that, we'll bust out the cutters and we'll see how well it cuts. Um, so as you can see, you'll get in the frame here. One-handed action, cuts through the wire, three wires, no problem. So we'll take that out of the equation. We'll get all that garbage and stuff out of the way. And now we'll bring in some 12-2 with ground. And we'll strip that. It's going to be the same thing. You're just going to line it up with the holes. And you're going to press down. And then just release a little bit of pressure. And you should be able to pull off that insulation. And you're just going to have to rip off any of the remaining insulation with your hands. Uh, and then bend your wires out, as you can see. And then we'll get the insulation ripped off that ground right there. And then we'll use the 12 gauge hole, which is right there. And we'll strip a fairly good amount of the wire this time so we can bend it. Uh, without bending the insulation 
Um, but as you can see, it strips the wire, no problem. And then again, I'm gonna lock the tool and then we'll bend some of the wire right there uh, as well. Definitely does a good job bending the wire uh, and it definitely is a very easy tool once you learn how to use it. Uh, so now we'll cut that off. And as you can see, cuts through the 12-2, no problem. Uh, but like I said earlier, you can also strip some 16 gauge and some 14 gauge stranded wire. I currently don't have any 16 gauge stranded wire. That's not something I currently run into, uh, but I do have some 14 gauge stranded wire. Uh, so you just line it up with the 14 gauge hole, press down a little bit and then pull off your insulation. And uh, for some reason, I'm struggling here, but as you can see, pull off the insulation off the wire right there. And we'll cut that off and we'll see if we can strip it one more time without any problem. And then we'll pull off the insulation. There you go, right there. And then we'll cut that wire off uh, like that. So overall, this is definitely a nice pair of uh, Romex strippers uh, that Kind Tools has to offer. Uh, definitely will get the job done, especially if you're stripping a lot of Romex wire, like you're wiring up a house or you're doing some residential work where you're going to run into some Romex quite often. I highly recommend picking these up, and it is pretty cool that you are able to strip 16 and 14 gauge wire. Now, like I said, the one thing I don't like about this tool is the lock. It would be nice to see Klein go back and redesign the lock so it doesn't always close or sometimes close when you're trying to strip a wire. That's about my only complaint with this tool. And if you're looking to pick up this tool, I will leave a link to this um, tool on Klein's website in the description below. And then another good thing about this tool is you should be able to pick it up at your local Home Depot. Uh, all the local Home Depots around me, there's about three or four of them that I can go to. Um, all of them have stock of these. I believe the one that had the least amount of stock had like two in stock. All the rest had five plus in stock. Um, so it is good if you don't want to order it online and wait for it and you want to use it uh, right away or you have a need for it to be used right away. You can just check your Home Depot and see if they have it in stock and go down there and pick it up if they do have it in stock. Uh, but that's all I have for this review. So thank you for watching. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. And if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, but that's all I have for today. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.